All right, Panther Lair, we are back with another season of likes and dislikes. Now, you know that the Pittsburgh Panthers defeated the Radford Highlanders 96 to 56 this past Monday in their season opener. In a 40 point victory, there's going to be a lot more things to like than dislike. I do want to spend this first iteration of the breakdowns going over the new players to Pitt's roster. So keeping both of those things in mind, what I'm going to do is highlight something that I really liked from Cam Corrin, Damian Dunn, and B.B. Cummings, and just highlight something to monitor going forward. So that's not necessarily a dislike, just something that we should monitor over the next couple of games in the non-conference portion of the schedule. Now, first up here is Cam Corrin. I thought he added something to Pitt's offense that they have not had from a big man while under Jeff Capel. Let's talk about it here. Diving into two possessions early in the second half, they ran a lot of Empty side pick and roll involving Corin. He ran it with Jalen Lowe, Ishmael Leggett, and Damian Dunn. And it's something that they really did not do a lot of over the last couple of years because they didn't have the personnel. So let's take a look at this very first possession here. It's going to be working with Damian Dunn inside ball screen with uh, Corin here. We're going to see Guillermo Diaz Graham flex out to the weak side corner. Now his defender is not going to commit much to him. And that influences the decision that Corin has to make here. So you see a really nice, he sets the screen, but kind of flares, slips flares out here into space. Really nice pocket pass here from Dunn. And now a decision has to be made, but because Guillermo's man was already committed to defending that action and is pretty much bracing for a charge, it looks like, Corn has to pull up here for a jumper. Now this could be a jump pass. Looks like Ish is going to kind of cut here based on where the video is. But Corn is going to take a confident step in 12 footer and knock it down. This is an important shot for him to be able to make because if he can do that consistently, it's going to show up in scouting reports. Teams will have to start defending his roles into space a little bit different. So working with Dunn, nice pocket pass, good decision by Corin, two points. Next possession a few minutes later, now he's going to be working with uh, Jalen Lowe. And we see here that again, another inside ball screen, he's going to set this and then he's going to slip flare out into space. A little bit different alignment of the players on the weak side here. But again, this pass goes over the top, can't get the pocket pass through, has to go over the defender. This is going to give the help defenders obviously more time to react to this situation. And so on the catch, already a smaller defender is on him. What I really like here, and you're going to see as this video plays out, is Corrin's going to allow time to develop a little bit of patience shown so that the defense has to scramble to recover back to various assignments, leaving Corrin to go one-on-one -on -one with this much smaller defender. Calmly backs him down and hits a nice jump hook there over the defender. Pitt hasn't always had, especially recently, any type of polished interior scorer, any type of player who has demonstrated a lot of patience in that regard that can consistently punish a team when the ball is thrown down low. Now, there were stretches where that may have been John Hughley, but certainly not stretches for Federico Federico or Jorge Diaz-Graham, Guillermo Diaz-Graham. So I think this adds a new dimension for what Pitt wants to do. Clearly, they're able to get a lot of production here out of these empty side pick and rolls. I imagine they're going to go back to this here in the next game against Murray State at the end of the week. So something to watch going forward, but really good stuff working out a pick and roll with all of the ball handlers. Cam Corn, I think A plus in this regard.